Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video. My name is Nasmus Kandiker, and in this video, I want to show you a quick handy thing that you might have not known. Well, did you know you could run Microsoft Office? Yes, the real Microsoft Office in Linux. Um, actually, you can. And while it's not the full featured Office you get in Windows on the Mac, it is the real Office. And it's important because it's developed by Microsoft. And when you edit an Office document with this Office in Linux, you will not lose your formatting. So if you're trying to open a document that's in Office format and you're trying to keep it intact without ruining the formatting by op opening in Google Docs or LibreOffice, this is a great way to do this. And it works in Linux. In fact, it works with any computer with a modern browser. So let's get started. So to get started with Microsoft Office, all you need to do is go to uh, open up a web browser. In this case, we'll do Firefox here. So I'm waiting for uh, waiting for Firefox to open up. Um, as you can see, I'm running this Linux machine in a virtual uh, virtual uh, environment, so it's a little bit slower. But again, it, it it'll it'll work, and it'll be this virtual machine is good enough to show what I'm going to show you and that is Office and Linux and so I have Firefox open here I'm running Linux Mint right now and I'm on the Linux Mint homepage so what you want to do is click the address bar and we're going to type in office.com office O-F-F-I-C-E -F -F dot com and press enter and you will be taken to the office.com homepage Let's maximize the window for our best real estate. Um, so as you can see, we have the office.com homepage. Now all you have to do is launch the Office application you want to use. So we have Word, Outlook, OneNote, PowerPoint, Excel. So let's try Word. So let's click on Word. And you can see Microsoft Word has launched. But first, you will need to sign in with your Microsoft account or create a new Microsoft account. Uh, if you have a if you have any email address like Google, Gmail, um, Yahoo, Hotmail, Outlook.com, any email address will allow you to create an Outlook uh, Microsoft account. So you don't need a Hotmail account. And if you have an email address, which I'm pr pretty sure you do, you could create a free Microsoft account. If you ha already have an account, including an Xbox account, just click Sign In with a Microsoft account. Here you'll be asked to sign in with your Microsoft account. So I'm going to do that right now. Now I need to authenticate. And you're given options here. You could create a new document, browse templates, or open, an, open a saved document so you have saved on OneDrive. So what you're going to do is browse templates. Or you could create a blank document, but let's see what templates are available. So templates for Word. Let's see what he got. Um, let's see. Let's try this with a picture here. And then the option is open in Word Online. Let's continue. Apparently this template's called Event Fire. So it's loading up Microsoft Word in Linux, as you could see the real Microsoft Word. And there is your Microsoft Word document. Now you could type anything you want, so let's try that. Well, I think I have to ch select it before. Yeah, Word in Linux Mint. Okay. So there's Word in Linux Mint. There's a picture. We could change a picture by adding a new picture. So you could um, add another picture right here. Insert. Clip art. Let's see. Mint. Let's type in what mint we got. Oh, there's a mint here. Remember, these clip arts are free to use. Creative Commons. I mean, not for Creative Commons, but royalty free. So there's no copyright issue using those. So let's see. So... What, what else can I write? Um, event. To every day. Anyway, basically as you could see, 
this is our Microsoft Word, Word document. Once you're done, we could just click File and we'll click Save As to save as a new format. It's saved as you type, so that's all you have to do. So let's go back to OneDrive. And in my Documents folder, I should have in the recent docs my document that I did here with the flyer template. There it is, Word in Linux Mint. As you can see, Microsoft Word in Linux. It, and it's all free, you have to pay nothing. So let's take a look at PowerPoint. So let's see what he got. There's PowerPoint right here, Microsoft PowerPoint Online. And let's create a new PowerPoint from scratch. And we have PowerPoint. And as you can see, this is the real Microsoft PowerPoint through the ribbon and all of, all that good stuff. So you choose a template here. Let's choose um, a template like this one. Note that I'm running this in a virtual machine, so it's a little slower than usual, but it's still fast enough. And you're, if you're running on a normal computer, it should be much faster and more enjoyable to use, actually. So you could write stuff, anything. I like pi. Whoa. Okay, so there's I like pi. Click us add to add a subtitle. Yay! So basically, you could write anything you want, and let's add a new insert a new slide. And you could choose your layout. Let's choose this layout. Add slide. And there's our new layout. I could add a doc Excel chart. I could add a picture. I could add a web link. Anything else I want. And your templates are modified, uh, created as you go. Uh, you could choose many design templates, which is amazing. So there you go. There's PowerPoint Online. And exa exactly as you'd expect, there's also Excel running perfectly in Linux for free. Let's create a new Excel spreadsheet and see what he got. Okay, so there it is, Microsoft Excel. Load it, perfect. And you still have also you have the animations of Excel as well. So pretty nice. You have your Excel formulas here, and your uh, chart options. I think here. So there's your chart, live chart that'll work with your live data. And there's data analysis and other options and goodies. And of course, you could always open them up in normal Excel, Word, PowerPoint on the Windows and the Mac, or the iPad, Android, or Windows Phone. And their formatting will not be lost, which is amazing. So now, anyone with a Linux PC can have Microsoft Office for free if they choose to. Well, I hope you guys had a great um, time. I hope if you I hope this video helps. If you ever need Microsoft Office and you're in Linux, remember you have an option. It's not the desktop version. I'll give you that. I would love to see a desktop Microsoft Office, but at least now you have something that'll keep your formatting, and at least you have our Office and you don't have to pay for it, which is amazing. Um, I hope uh, Microsoft does support Linux sometimes. I mean, they released Microsoft Office for the iPad, and they're working on the Android version. So I hope they reach out for the Linux community. I'm not sure if they will, though, um, but I hope they do. Um, but there you go, Microsoft Office for Linux, or Office Online for Linux users. I hope I, those helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.